What's good YouTube, today's video is a nerf rage rush gameplay. This game mode is perfect for anyone trying to learn PvP or the core mechanics of the game. No class spawns in with face shield, so it's very balanced. Since everyone spawns close in this game mode, it's very important to figure out which footsteps is players and which are scavs. I have a lot of people ask me, how do you tell the difference? Players' footsteps sound irregular, so it's like a person moving a joystick. Scavs make the same kind of footsteps, they're more robotic. Players will stop or shuffle or turn around and you'll be able to tell the difference after you play it for a while. So I'm outnumbered, I just took damage, but I have all the information I need. These guys are most likely going to try and push me, which means they're going to be sprinting at me and I have the opportunity to get a pick here. So in theory, these guys did everything correct, played together, pushed as a team. Unfortunately, with the game that we're playing, you need more than that to win the fight. This is why you never want to let the enemy get too aggressive since you can easily punish them, especially in a game like this. So there's a guy where I got my first kill, he just made the jumping audio. There's a guy upstairs and there's someone slow walking on the same floor as me. I'm trying to get an understanding of the situation so I'll slow it down for a second. So when you're holding a position or you're waiting for something to happen, you always want to imagine what's going on in the map. This guy upstairs, he's just running around, so I'm assuming he's trying to bait out a play. The guy to my left is consistently slow walking, so I'm guessing he's waiting for somebody to run into him. While I'm listening to him though, I realize that he might be in the small room inside the cafeteria, which gives me a lot more space to work with. Now that this duo has heard a fight, they want to get involved. I'm actually in the perfect position. I'm in a corner. I have a room to back into. So I'm going to let them come to me. These guys actually don't know where I am, and this can work to my advantage since I could get a free pick. One thing about this game mode, it's not really a loot game mode, of course you can loot, but I mostly use it for PvP, so you won't see me getting crazy loot in these games. You always want to take the resources from the bodies, the heals, the meds, all the painkillers, take some ammo.